Trauma comes with many faces. A single unfortunate event such as an automobile accident, tornado, or sudden death of a family member, or something more insidious such as physical or sexual abuse by a family member. When children are traumatized, they require the consistent support, nurturance, and protection of trusted adults in order to heal and recover. When no such support is available, or worse yet, when the threat comes from someone who's supposed to protect them, children are forced into survival mode, just like being abandoned in the jungle. They no longer have the luxury of being children because they quickly must learn how to survive. Sadly, children are too immature to cope with such circumstances, so they learn to survive on their own, searching their limited resources for whatever helps them get through the day, with little regard for long-term consequences. If drugs or alcohol numb the pain, so be it. If joining a gang creates a place to belong, then go for it. If aggressive behavior helps a child feel powerful, then bring it on. If promiscuous sex helps the adolescent feel love, then why not? In such dire circumstances, children learn to disconnect from their feelings because their feelings only cause more problems and pain. Imagine an eight-year-old boy telling his father, Dad, your drinking and yelling really upset me. Could you please stop? Well, most likely his alcoholic dad would verbally attack him for being a spoiled brat or worse yet, physically assault him while blaming him for the assault. Thus, the traumatized child is presented with a horrible dilemma. Does he choose to listen to his feelings and run the risk of being attacked or beaten up for them? Or does he learn to ignore his feelings in order to survive an abusive environment? The choice is between true self and false self. No child should ever be put in this predicament, but many are. Unfortunately, when traumatized children learn to ignore their feelings, it's like the captain of a ship throwing away his compass. No wonder so many abused children become lost adults who can't seem to find their way. No wonder so many of my clients who grew up in alcoholic, dysfunctional, or abusive families do not know how to take care of themselves physically, emotionally, spiritually, or in relationships. Without a compass, it's difficult to know who you are and which way to go. If you'd like help escaping the prison of childhood abuse, then visit my website, serenityonlinetherapy.com, to learn more about the online services I provide. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button, and then subscribe to my channel to hear more from me. And finally, Keep paying attention to your life. Until next time.